Mtu toa ki Afrika Aye Kazali warangi nyeusi In the ever evolving landscape of modern African music one artist boldly takes center stage not just to sing but to inspire change Sharon Liboy an African contemporary music artist is on a mission to amplify her voice for the cause of global change and democracy Activism to me is using art uh, for activism so we combine it hence the word activism uh, how I started it It's a long story has everything to do with where I grew up um a lot of things that were happening and how the mainstream media used to cover whatever was happening was biased so I wanted to be able to tell my stories the best way I could to change my environment and to change my life as well um so uh, that's how I got into art and that's why I did art for activism my experience has been good honestly Um it's a little bit of both because you know when you're talking about things that people don't talk about openly it's very hard first of all to be accepted to even find spaces to talk about it because at times people fear talking the truth but then as as an artist it's it's I feel like it's my purpose to do that so to me it's a good experience and also bad because Some stories are just really hard to tell but at the end of the day we have to talk about it. Um it's good because we are slowly changing the narrative and impacting people through the kind of art that we are creating. In this interview, Hanna Carlson, the first secretary for human rights and democracy at the Embassy of Sweden in Nairobi, spoke of the transformative power of youth in global democracy. You know democracy and to involve the youth is the responsibility of everyone. It starts actually already in the family where you as parents can guide your children. You can make them sit around the table to you know have family meetings to discuss issues but maybe even you know vote for things that what are we going to do this weekend together as a family? Where should we go? Do we have any suggestion is it possible based on you know the means we have? Uh, education extremely important to make sure all the young people get a quality education and also we need to also help them and support them you know on the activists on social media we know that young people today they consume a lot of news from social media and we need to help them and this is also the responsibility of parents and uh, education institution to to help them to have a critical mind when they seeing something when they hear something on social media you know to ask us questions is this really right are these numbers or these uh, claims that being said are they real facts uh, and to create this critical mind you know we, then we need to really start you know at an early age and that starts in school you know where instead of seeing the teacher as being the authority but being someone that i can question and he's also challenging me and who also like encourage me to question in, And you know we need to have that throughout the education system. Tumepata wheels za ikona mina bado tunatlea shida ni traffic. He economy He economy make what tough design what goes around in kuliwa fair ya kukamba ground. Ni kama wenye nchi wana dis wana nchi na wana nchi hawana kamba ni kama wamefungwa mikono hawezi clap back in your future when it's a good there is no going back but when you have a vision I shall turn your backs kile ziko na ivasha rali lakini maisha yao slow kama gari and road what vijana wako sawa meet nyash a poet who echoes the sentiment that the youth hold the power to transform the world i started poetry in high school my my last year my final year in high school spoken word and um i started it because i love poetry you know but activism i started a couple of years back this is mali unaenda kwa ground and sasa you see the actual reality of what is happening you know there's a lot of protection when you're behind four walls of some institution or something like that. But when you come outside you realize that what people actually talk about in the news you know 
in Twitter and social media, it's actually true. I address the issues that affect the youth, issues that affect the common monanchi, issues that affect women, you see, categorically. I'd say social justice branching towards the various dimensions, women, the youth, common monanchi. Art is supposed to be given a pedestal. Art is what gives a voice to the voiceless, you know. For that woman, that mama somewhere who can speak for herself, who will speak for her? With every stage that I'm able to reach, you know, an audience and actually impact somebody, that for me is the greatest achievement. Prize ya kuwa sober ni depression. So vijana wa kiwacha miyaderati, inani atuwa peleka rehab. Itakuwaje? Madame wanapata soup exam wali somea jutu boxes a lecture so likataa kuingia. The truth is a bitter pill. Wengi wamemeza, wengine wamemezea. But truth is, breeding system kwa education sector imegeuza the pen between the lecturer's legs. Preachers who reach out kutach na see hearts. Soul winners wamegeuza roho za waumini soul za viatu design wana wakanyagia. Squeezy and the priests are having non-consensual sex na nuns na bado inakuwa nani issue Representing Chief Justice Martha Koome, during the International Day of Democracy, Lady Justice Fatuma Sichale urged Kenyan youth to take action in promoting democracy. When democracy works well, it does not just create policies. It creates environments where happiness thrives, where individuals, including the youth, feel valued and are heard, and where dreams are not just dreamt, but are actually realized. As we celebrate uh, the consolidation of democracy in Kenya, we must also appreciate that we live at a time that has been described by democratic theory scholars as a, as a time of democratic regression in Africa and across the world. Democratic regression has manifested itself in our continent through the rise in incidence of coup d'etat, the weakening of independence of institutions that are to serve as the horizontal checks and balance of the exercise of public power, an increased incidence of abuse of human rights. All these are manifestations that the institutional and normative protections of democratic governance are being weakened across the continent. Down with oppression down. Down. Down with dictatorship down. Down. Down with bad governance down. Down. Africa women on the front line. Thank you. 
way you can express yourself and talk about something then go ahead and do it don't wait for uhuru to talk about something you can also spark change you can spark conversations and also these conversations are going to help uh, the policies that are put into place to change because of what you're talking about in your ad so please do it I think it's up to us you know uh, everybody says change begins with you but then we wait for somebody to start it you know in every little capacity that you can I feel like just to do it. We used to talk about uh, uh, the youth being the leaders of tomorrow, but that tomorrow came a bit too fast and you are the leaders of today. Ask not what the country can do for you, but what you can do for your country. Today, the calls for democracy resound even louder than ever. Impassioned artists like Sharon and Nyash underscore the potential of youth in molding a future that is not just brighter, but also transformative, igniting a fire of positive change that burns brighter with each passing day. 